Hey again guys and welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about uh, these things. Um, these are vibration sensors and they can be had super cheap off of eBay in packs of 10 or more. And um, they're really cool little devices. They're really easy to use. I have an example right here. I basically have a um, LED with a resistor. Um, so, so it's just an LED that's ready for 5 volts. I've got the vibration sensor, which is a two-wire device, if you can see there. It has two wires of different diameters, but still only two wires. And I've got uh, this other wire leading to ground, and when I tap this, I don't know if you're going to catch it, but the LED lights. And really, it's, uh, it's not super sensitive. If you bang it around a little bit, it won't go off, but if you give it a good jostle, it does. So you could use this for all sorts of things, but first things first, I want to show you how they work. So this is what they look like up close. They are absolutely uh, tiny and they're covered in this kind of heat shrink stuff. If you look up the end there, you might not be able to see because of the focus, but it's definitely heat shrink. And you've got these two wires, which are just like a normal switch. You have two wires on a normal switch. and. Um, one of them is very springy and one of them is very solid. This one here is reminiscent of a pin header and this one here is very springy. If you take off the heat shrink, this is what you're left with. So you see there's a coil of that copper springy stuff. And in the middle you can see the post and you can actually pull this little capsule apart so I would say this is not particularly waterproof. And if I upend this and focus, you can see it's like there's a pillar in the middle and a spring around it. And when you tap it, that spring vibrates. And if the vibration is enough that it catches the, um, the post, then you got a connection. So it's not super great if you use it like I was using it with just an LED connected to it, but you can definitely capture the signal on a microcontroller and have it do some fun stuff. And so this is what I have come up with. Um, this is just a coding array. If you're worried about all the extra stuff, don't worry about it. I just use it because it has everything already connected to the Arduino. I've got my, uh, my switch, vibration switch here between pin 12 and ground. And the code just appearing on that side there is super simple. Just declare a couple of pins, uh, set the pin modes, uh, make the, uh, basically just, just give it a default state. And then when it senses ground on pin 12, which will be through the vibration sensor, it just flashes the LED and, and makes the buzzer go a little bit. I'm not quite sure how to use this buzzer, so it doesn't make very much noise, but I mean, it's powered on. And let's see what happens. And there we go. So it detects the vibration and then it can set off the alarm. There we go. Um, now you'll notice that the vibration is actually directional because uh, if you tap it from the top, yeah, it's possible that the spring vibrates enough to hit the pillar, um, but there is a chance that it doesn't um, because it'll be vibrating in sort of like a wobbly motion. If you hit it this way though, for sure the spring will be vibrating kind of up and down like this and definitely touch that post. So it's much more sensitive to shocks from the side than to the top. See, I can still make it work, but it takes quite a bit of force. I may have bunged it. There we go. Nope. Um, and another thing to watch out for is that the uh, spring wire is much thinner than the post. And so you don't always get good contact in your um, pin header. So I would probably solder this to a length of wire. I would probably also put a little resistor just to make sure that we're not drawing too much current, but I've never had that problem before. So yeah, this is it. These little vibration sensors. Uh, if you want to play with some, uh, check out the link in the description. There's going to be um, an affiliate link where you can pick some up or you can just do a regular search on eBay and find them yourself. But either way, I think this thing has some pretty cool applications. Thanks for watching.